Hey guys, what's up? And welcome back to my Legend of Dragoon walkthrough. Where every Sunday, we play Legend of Dragoon. So we're continuing on after last week. We found out all these secrets. That fucking, oh my god, that, that Darth's father is the bad guy in all this shit. And like, and we're on disc four now. And it's just... Too much man it's too fucking much uh oh oh uh, yeah we're getting through okay so in this part um i don't really know what's happening next we just gotta we're just cruising through oh no damn i fell in the hole i fell in the sand pit so i gotta get through this uh sand pit of shit basically is what it's called the sand pit of shit and then, yeah, so since the last one as well, I didn't really get anything new. Um, no new additions. Everyone, Dragoon's level. Oh, yeah, Albert's Dragoon's le Dragoon level's four now, which is cool. Thank God, because I needed his to be four. I was honestly afraid I wasn't going to get it because I was having such a hard time with his additions. Um, and actually I did that. I brought up his addition to level four now. So it's finally almost at level five. Then when it's at level five, I get his last one. Last one. I don't even know why I'm bringing it up. Because the final boss, you can't really go Dragoon. Like you can, but it's one of those bosses where you can only do it one turn. After that, it just doesn't work. So, I'm just gonna... Yeah. Cha! 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 Oh, right on point, man! What a... This is good. Right away, just start off fucking good. Hit an addition. It's a good fucking day. So, Dart doesn't need much to level up again. Just give me a bit 30 wood. Okay. So... Um, I don't, I don't really, after this point, I honestly don't remember much. I really don't. But hopefully, there's some coup. Some fucking coups go happy, I don't know. Alright, we got out. Water! Maru, Maru, water! Yeah, it's healing water. Use that to heal right up. It's refreshing. Ooh. Here, no monster. We can rest now. What will the Winglies in Allura know? They should know the way we, or at least I, should take. So there's no need for you to come. Are you still saying that? Don't you understand it is no longer a problem for you alone? You just found it a couple of days ago, and now you think you can join me? It is not as easy as pursuing one wingly. Oh, bitch slap, Rose. You say it was easy. Don't be so conceited. Stop it. I won't lead us anywhere. It won't lead us anywhere. Rose, nobody can understand the weight of fate you have to carry. But we can at least lighten the burden for you. That's why we are going with you. If you have the strength to argue, we can go on. We had the strength to carry on no more. Rejoice every time. Hear the sound of my voice. But who like huh? There is no other way, is there? No, there's not. Go heal up. Drink some water. Oh yeah, that's some good water. That right there is some good water. Mm. Finally, holy crap. It took me forever to get out of that damn place. Ugh. Ugh. So annoying. Yes, now we're at Spring Breath Tura Allura. Tura Allura Spalurda Paterda. I don't fucking know. 
Fucking Olura. Uh, yeah. Even if an adventurer is lucky enough to make it through the death frontier, nobody can proceed from here. Time was stopped for me 11,000 years ago with the spell of this choker. And it's the only way to see Allura, the spring breath town. But where is it? It's right fucking there! The only thing here is an endless desert. No, it's not, Hatchel. I sense it. I sense people's feelings over there. Oh my gosh, you go use it! Get out of the power box! Whoa, man! Ooh, right in the middle of the desert! Oh man! Ooh, that's fucking cool, man! Ooh. We can fly over there with this! Are you afraid? I think you are. Maybe. Maybe. We are standing by you. I know. Let's go. If you want it, you can get it. Let me know. I I am about to let go. All right. Well, we made it, man. We fucking made it. Welcome to Elura, the Spring Breath Town. I am the guard of the teleporting device, Karen. I'm a good friend of Rose's. Long time no see. Long time. Rose, you are starting to regain a sense of time, aren't you? No, not only that, you have recovered a lot of other things, too. Are you the person who stopped time for Rose? No, it was Charles Frama. She's the person who ha uh, we have to meet now. Rose has been carrying the fate of the world all along while shedding tears of blood. Can you go with Rose? Karen, stop it. I don't need to force them. I have already settled things with the black monster. The only thing left is that I have to complete this journey with my companions. If you understand that, I have nothing to say. Alright. So there's some stardust in here. And I'm going to go get that. And if shit happens along the way, I'm going to fill you in. Oh, something's happening. Something's happening. What's happening? Roses. I think Shanna would be happy to see them. It makes me relieved. I didn't know you liked flowers, Miranda. I guess there is some woman in you. Don't misread me. Roses make me puke. They are just flashy. They don't have any kindness in them. Do you know why Rose have thorns? It is to bring out their own red using the blood of the people they hurt. They'll do anything for their own happiness. Let's move on. I don't need to be here. Oh, all right then. Fuck out, bitch. Nah, we got another scene. Miata, where is Charles? You're wondering because she would normally be taking care of these babies, right? Charles is preparing herself because, well, the thing we didn't tell you about, right? Zeke told you them, so. It must be about the moon signet. Tell me what you know. The signet is the signet sphere. The signet sphere is a sealing device that was created to be the last barrier. Just in case the moon child reached the moon that never sets. Even my mistake was in your plan. You are really scary people. Even more scary is Zeig. He is trying to destroy the signet sphere. Using the divine moon objects. Wait a minute. You you made the signet sphere just because you were afraid of the birth of the god of destruction? And why did you make tools that can destroy the signet? Ask Charles. It was decided between the siblings. I will. I will. Actually, I think there's a stardust here. There you go. Yeah, yeah I'm so good. I'm so good. My stardust. Stardust, Stardust. We gotta go find Charles. Charles Xavier. I sensed your presence, children. Hello there, children. Oh, Rosie, darling. I've been waiting for you. Oh, Rosie O'Donnell. 
What the fuck is this? I don't need your greetings. I, you know what I want to ask you. Oh, you are scary. But before that, can you introduce me to the son of dear Ziggy? This is Dart. Doesn't he look just like our Ziggy? But Rosie, honey, it's complicated. You have to fight with the son of someone who used to be your significant other. And furthermore, the enemy is a significant other. Do you want me to give you a knuckle sandwich? Sorry, honey. Sorry, honey, pop. But I'm really concerned. So I'm in intentionally making it happy and delightful so that you won't be depressed, Rosie, sweetheart. You have never changed. Charles, if you know, please tell us. Where should we head to? Really? You have the same eyes as Ziggy. I know. I have been waiting for you in order to tell you everything. Now, what would you like me to tell you? Tell me about the Cygnus Sphere! Ziggy is trying to break the signet of the moon that never sets with the magic power of the divine moon objects. The signet is the signet sphere. I'm sorry that I didn't tell you about this. I have to apologize. I miss the moon child, Shana. But you still have time. The signet of the moon that never sets is not broken yet. We are the remaining signets. In the past, they were placed in the five cities, but there are only three left. That's why they needed the same number of Divine Moon objects. What happened to the other two? One was destroyed in the royal capital, Kadasa, during the Dragon Campaign. And the others was lost. Oh, fuck. I hit the button. Does this mean without the Divine Moon objects, the Cygnus Sphere could be destroyed? The Divine Moon objects are just tools that conceal vast amounts of magical power. That's all. So in order to destroy the Signet Sphere, having the same amount of magic power as the Divine Moon objects is sufficient. My dad knew about this and made Lloyd collect them. It doesn't seem like him and it's so indirect. Plus something is strange. I wonder how Ziggy knows about the Signet Sphere. Not only that! He knew that Shanna is the Moon Child. Fuck, I just fucking... God damn it. Oh shit, I hit it again! I stopped hitting that fucking button. Okay. Uh, just tell me about my father and shit. Tell me about my father. You're concerned, aren't you? Why does he have to destroy the world? Sorry, but that is the one thing I don't understand. But he was unmistakably Zeke. Ziggy was the fiance of Rosie. They crossed both sword and love. Just looking at them made me feel embarrassed. Stop right there. I want to talk alone with Zeke about her memories. I agree. About the moon that never sets. It's the 108th fruit that the divine tree dropped was convinced with the god of destruction that ends the world. That's why we separated it into its soul and flesh and sealed them away. My baby brother Mel Boo sealed the soul which was the source of magic power in the crystal sphere. But um, when he fought with Ziggy it was broken. Then the soul escaped from the crystal sphere and started to transmigrate into a human body. Since then it has been called the moon child. Oh, I'm running out of breath. Too much talking. Oh, fuck. You're not lightheaded. Oh. When the moon child goes back to the moon that never sets, the Virage embryo, the god of destruction, will be born. So we need our Rosie to take on an important task. Please understand her. Oh. Why break items to the fucking signet in the poo poo in the poo poo? Okay, you know what? Right now, I don't really care. It's too much fucking talking. Your baby brother's Malbu and his poo poo. Oh, uh, yeah. Uptight, blah, blah. Okay, so I gotta go around and find everybody. Everyone's fucking missing. 
An hour away is open. Shanna, I'll be there soon. Are you sure? What's up, Rose? Rose. You really forgive. Don't say anything. It's already in the past. Take your sword. Death Frontier. You have become strong. You can take care of yourself. Kill me. Oh my god! Why? The black monster is dead now. We only have... A companion who is in the same road. Who is on the same road. I miss the time when you were chased by Fairbrand in the forest. Me too. Now I didn't know anything back then. The world is so frail. The world is created so that it can perish at any time. The creator Soa can recreate one any time. The people living there can accept it, believe it as fate, or struggle against it. I struggled in order to protect this world that was taken back by friends who gave up their lives. I told you, you are no longer alone, Rose. Dart. Let's go see everybody. This is just the beginning. This is just the beginning. Yeah. Ah, uh, there's Hatchel and there's uh, Miranda. It's not true. The reason why I hate roses is because I see my mother in roses. My mother never looked at me directly. It was as if she was hiding something from me. And she beat me up. I didn't know what was going on and why she was doing it to me, but I remember at least one thing. There were always roses on the shelf behind my mother. Why did your mother leave you? Sorry. Let's not talk about me anymore. It spoils our drinks. I don't think so. It is okay to be this way. Life is not always happy. Listening to our, your story reminds me of my past. About your runaway daughter, right? You are so sharp that it hurts. I hate being roundabout. Oh, you guys are here! When are we leaving? Hatchell has been drinking too much since he heard we are going to Rouge. That's right. Drink a little more and let's leave for Rouge. At once. Of course, to save the world. Give me a drink too. May I join? I wanted to talk to you, Miranda. Same here. Ooh. So much talking is ridiculous. Shall we go? Alright, let's find the other two. Ah, there's Albert and there's Congo. So we're leaving in the morning. Yes, we are. What are you doing here? We don't know what will happen in ancient city of Wheelies. We need strong weapon. Congo doesn't care about leader of creatures. Congo go with you to the end. For me too, it's no longer the mere problem of the moon gem. I cannot ignore this crisis of the world. You didn't imagine we wouldn't go with you, did you? I didn't. Hurry up if you want to buy. Humans and Gigantos, your time is limited. Oh, well, I already did, so fuck off. Alright, gotta find Maru Maru next. Ah, uh, there's Maru Maru. What's up, Maru Maru? Hey, buddies. Karen was telling me about this teleporting device. It's not like back home. And when we are and when are we going? We already heard lots about it from Charlie. Charlie, and we found out where we should go. You're coming too? Of course. Without me, the strongest of all, you cannot save the world. Besides, I learned a lot following Dart. Everybody's the same. Gigantos, humans, and winglies. I can't stand the destruction of a world where everybody lives. I think for the first time, 
I agree with, Mar with Maru. Is this the first time? Leave here tomorrow morning. By that time, uh, I'll be prepared so that I can send you on the way that goes to the home of Gigantos from here. We can travel that far instantly? Then we might as well go directly to Rouge. Our power is becoming weaker day by day. That is our maximum power. I understand. Take a boat to Rouge. It should have been prepared in the Twin Castle a short while ago. Was there a dock in that castle? I asked King Zior and had him make one especially. I'm surprised that he listens to a wingly. There are no human or winglies when it comes to the end of the world. You don't need to thank us. Now it is not too much to say that the mission of the city is to send you off. Yes, and this is one way this city has been looking after the world. Let's go back to Charlie. She must have prepared the bedrooms for us. Maybe. Uh, Rose, fuck off. Hatchel, fuck off. Oh, no! No, I don't want Maru Maru! Fuck. Oh, well, I guess I'll fucking just go to the save points. Switch out my team, I suppose. Ooh, that's a lot of winglies. Shit. Charlie, what is this? Oh, naive boy. Don't you understand? It's a send-off for great heroes. You shouldn't have. Don't be so shy. Rosie, honey, you have been doing really great. Since the soul of the Virage embryo, the God of Destruction, was released, you have saved the world. Let me see. At least 107 times. Really? After even being called the Black Monster? Stop it. The monster has died. Ziggy is serious, and he has everything to give birth to the God of Destruction. Only Dragoons can stop him. I wonder what Creator Soa is thinking. Like destruction or regeneration? I wonder why he wants us to go through such a painful thingy. We will change fate. Everybody must survive, okay? Now go. Zig won't wait for us. Right. Bang, bang. All right, let's go. To the home of Gigantos. Uh oh look at that fucking secret. Look at that fucking secret. Home of Gigantos. Damn. It was linked to here. It's been a while. No oh, shit! Karen and Gigantos were pals for a long time. Of course it was when there were still some Gigantos left. They were nice winglies like Charlie. They weren't all brutal people unlike the legends tell. We have to rewrite the book in the National Library. Yes, correct knowledge brings correct conduct. That's after this journey has ended. Let's go see King's Yor. We have to head to the Rouge on the Queen Fury. Alright. I'm gonna heal up. And yeah, let's go. Oh, fuck. Okay, so I gotta go all the way back to Flats. So it's a long ass fucking trek back. Which sucks balls. Uh. So this is gonna take me a while to get there, so I'm just gonna cut to it when I get there. There, I finally made it. 
Holy shit! That was a long trek back. God damn. Ugh. Dart! I've been waiting for you. What is this? We are seeing you off. We received a message. Messenger from Charlie. Her name was Karen. Everything is ready for go for going to Rouge. The world must not be destroyed. And if it was the intention of the creator, we are still alive and living. I beg of you, please save the world. Commodore Puler is waiting for you in the basement. To carry out, to carry our hope. Yes. Yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh yes. Yes. So long. So long. Stay strong. Okay, we're going to save right now. Okay, actually, this is a good place to stop because all I have to do is go on the go on the ship and then I'm fucking going to the next area, so... I can end it right here. But, alright, guys. So, that's it for this week. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you did, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you think of Legend of Dragoon and on my commentary. And make sure to check out some of my other stuff, too. You know what you gotta do, and you know how to do it. Peace out, guys. Cha! Destruction. The destruction is so is will. This is the fate that rules the future of the world. But there was one dragoon who found out about it. In order to deter the birth of the god of destruction, 